everybody. Welcome back. I, this is Minister J. Renee and Kayla V. And we are here with you today on an important, important topic. I mean, if you don't watch any other show, this is the mandatory one to keep watching and to send to your friend. For right? sure. And today, Kayla V. Come on, give it to her. I mean, this was just on my mind. Um, I don't know, coming from an educational background yeah. and working in the school system, like self-care was the biggest challenge for me. Okay. Just to be able to like balance work and serving other people and like also filling my cup so that it runs over. Because oh. it's about to overflow, right? Okay, see? Okay, you're being messy already. I'm getting excited. Okay. Yeah, here. it's. I mean, it, it was just so important. And um, I actually transitioned from teaching to life coaching because I knew that I had to make a difference in my life. <laughs> like I said, I had to really, I had to make sure I prepared for an overflow. Right. And so um, being able to balance work in, in, in your life, like that work-life balance is, is hard. So, I mean, you know you know what I, I, I think of? I think of all the times where Pastor Cosby um, talks about his self-care. Mm -hmm. He, you know, he makes it, he uses his self-care um, in his sermons and for everything that Pastor Cosby does, that has got to be the secret with self-care because uh, the president of Simmons uh, College, I was gonna say Simmons University. Uh, well, I will say Speaking Simmons, some, right, right. Simmons University. <laughs> speak that, speak yes, that. <laughs> uh, and then the pastor of a church that has three different locations and being there, um, just everything that uh, just all the other things he does. He's, uh, you know, uh, he's so active in the community. We just had a, a citywide book book read. How can you keep all that? And you know, I, I learned this. I, I learned this. This is, I've had four classes and I'm in my master's degree. This semester was so hard for me. But then I had all these other things hit me, like um, my grandson um, getting admitted to the Cosairs Hospital. Um, you know, helping my uh, son with my other two grandbabies, just all this stuff hitting, 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 and I forgot about my self care. Mm. But let me tell you this week where that landed me. I, I went to the dentist, you know, just to get my teeth cleaned. That's good. That's self care. Yeah, that is self care. I want to acknowledge that. But That's he's like, good. I'm not gonna do it, Miss Williams, because you are like on stroke level they didn't i did i was having symptoms of a stroke and was thinking that was my acid reflux or something oh my god yes y'all i said acid reflux y'all know i keep it real on real talk and <laughs> wait, so, <laughs> wait, 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 wait so you so you went to the dentist i went to the dentist okay. to get my teeth clean right and they check your blood pressure they checked it three times I said, no, ma'am, I'm going to need you to call your doctor right from here. I had to call my doctor in the dentist, in the dentist office, and I was here in Louisville. Mm -hmm. And I called my doctor. They made me an appointment right away. And then she said, and if in the time between here and there you start having more symptoms, don't even come here. Go straight to the emergency room. In my mind, I thought about this uh, testimony of one of the sisters' pastor was sharing how she got into a car accident. Mm -hmm. She wasn't hurt, but when they took her blood pressure, she was in hypertension. She was about to have a stroke, so she probably would have died anyway. Like that came to me and it, listen, I will tell you that was a time I was like, okay, he's not playing and I'm, I'm a little scared. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, you know, so I, I got to the doctor um, they got my meds. They, you know, they gave me some meds. Yes, I, yes, I take them. And then I just started weeding everything out and going back to, you know, and, and if just to be transparent, um, not, but I had to fast over, you know, like over that weekend mm -hmm. and, and just focus and focus what is important, you know, okay, this is okay right here. I, I, I had to try to get back to as much self-care Granted, I'm not back to my five mile walks. I'm gonna get there, y'all. But <laughs> I'm holding you accountable okay. now. Uh oh, I got accountability partner. Oh my God, <laughs> that know, is I so love important. To do it. So, so go ahead, you know, take that right there. And what can can uh, you share with our audience that makes this even my situation important? Like, 
first of all, I just hear you saying in so many words that okay, so you you were pursuing the form of self care because going to the dentist, I think that's really <laughs> important. Thank you. I just need my teeth to be clean, everybody. Okay. <laughs> that's that's important. No, seriously, yeah. that's like yeah. It, but going to the dentist and then having that moment where you're like, wait a minute. Like, I have to dig deeper. Because then I heard you say fasting. Um, And just trying to really, in so many words, and, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but just really trying to identify, like, what the root issue is. (laughs) Like, what what you need to do next. (laughs) What are you doing? And where are you supposed to be? Right, right, Um, right. I think a lot of times, oftentimes, uh, we don't... And so, and let me say this, even for ministers, if you're a minister... It is important to have Mm -hmm. self-care. Yes, it is great to be there for people, to pray for people. And I even know, sometimes I can be one of those who's calling, hey, hey, look, um, at one point, you have to say, if I'm not healthy or if I'm not focusing on me, then you'll be out of here in a blink of an eye. Right, I'm yeah. I'm talking about I am chilling, y'all. I for and especially for women, where our our symptoms are are hard to trace for strokes mm-hmm. and that kind of thing. But self care helps you. Listen, if I want to minister to somebody, in my self care, I can stay focused on what the Spirit is saying to me, mm-hmm. just to be effective. Because you know, going by feeling. Oh, this is how the Lord did it last time, so he's doing it this way. So the Lord is saying, no, no, no. Self-care helps you to focus on where the, and where and, and accurately how the Spirit is guiding you. You're not all clogged up, if you will, with, with distractions, with other different, with help, with all of those things. Mm-hmm. Which you got. That's real. I'm, this is what's coming to mind, too. Yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah. let me acknowledge your vulnerability. <laughs> because that's a superpower and just being able to share, especially for generous leaders like, um, yeah, ministers, educators. Yes. Um, it's hard when we are, you know, we know our mission, like, we're okay, so we're wrapped up, we're spirit wrapped up in flesh and boom, here we are to do, we're on a mission, right? right. It's like we're on a missionary trip, so we're here to serve, yet sometimes we really forget to just be, in so many words, present to the moment. Right, present to the moment. That's what I hear you saying, like being present to the moment to even know what to do next or to be able to identify what is without judgment. And, you know, I think that's so important in in regard to self-care is being present to what is um, without judgment. Just kind of being like aware, like, you know, like just this is what it is. And then when you're in a space where you're aware, you're able to figure out what you need to do next. Yes. And, what you need to say next. And it's, and it's not hard. It's not hard. Sometimes we're like, oh, I gotta, uh, I, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to dig so hard and you got so much uh, just on you, hanging on you. Um, you know, I, I, I sit and I was like, okay, you know what, Lord, I'm still mad about this thing. Okay, I'm just gonna calm down. Like, That's but real. I recognize that I was mad. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not, okay. Why am I mad? What do I need to do? Do I just need, how do I, you know, so my son says this thing and I'm I'm just gonna tell you, I've carried it. You know, if what I'm about to say is not gonna add value. And a lot of times when people do stuff against us, we we say that they're our enemy, but they're not God's enemy. And when when we can stay calm and stay in a place, then we can respond in a way that'll blow their mind, first of all. Okay, I don't have to be moved, and I don't have to, what do you call it when you move with every wind of doctrine? Because I I can't hear, I can't, oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. And this goes with uh, parenting, uh, having to take the kids to daycare, and this parent's got to work overtime, and this one has to get stuff done, but they still got to do their job, and life can be like a tornado right right so i'm thinking because this is a pattern i've i've seen and i i've I've experienced this pattern so it's personal to me um you know prioritizing self-care is so important and we struggle to do that with all the 
people, all the bags that we carry with us, Ooh. all the things that we have. <laughs> so then my question is how to we overcome this barrier? Because it's, it really truly is a barrier to right. like living life to, to the fullest. Yeah. And that's what I'm about. I want to live life to the fullest. I want to be able to pour into others, but I have to be able to pour into myself too. And so oh that's gosh, what self care is to me. But how do we? What can we? In other words, I'm, I'm thinking about what? What do you do? What do you do to um, to apply self care in your life in your year moment? So okay, let me. So let me do this, right? I'm, so I know about self care. I know I had four classes. I know they're on a master's level. I knew I was going to be challenged. Okay. Because in in addition to that, I have two jobs. <laughs> so, but the beauty of that is all of it was working together. All of it was working together. So I would go down. Now, I am a nature person. I love nature too. Oh my goodness. It grounds me. Yeah. And I was gonna say <laughs> it. It just puts me in a place yeah. where I can focus and I can breathe and I can. I I just can't explain, but. I've known this since I was a little girl that, you know, if I am walking, like, or if I'm by water, and right. so where I live, um, I used to walk the lake, which is about almost five miles, and uh, just walk it. And so part of that is in the woods. And, you know, that doesn't scare me, but there's, it's a walking track, actually. And so I don't know about the, the woods or the water, but when I'm walking, even when I walk in the rain, oh my goodness, like, to me, and then, oh, so wait a minute, I put my headphones in my ear and I put on the Bible. Mm -hmm. So this is, this. listen, this is Jay Renee. I'm not telling everybody this is what you got to do. You can put in your music, uh, whatever, but what relaxes me is the word. And so I put the word in my ears and I walk. I walk. Um... And that kept me so on point um, the whole time until mm -hmm. I just thought, oh, no, this emergency happens in the family. Okay, well, come on. You know, I, I'm a support. So um, that's some of the things that I do. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's what I love to do. That's what helps me um, much quicker. But when you take that from me, now I got a problem. Mm -hmm. I, I have a problem. I have to, uh, you know, I have to do different things. But um, just to, you know, I went on the fast this past week just to dig deeper. You know, um, when I when I did that fast, you know what? I didn't have to overthink my homework. Right. You remember how you caught me about that time about being an overthinker? Remember how you caught me? Okay. <laughs> But now, you know, I try to find ways not to do that. And I, I was able to focus on my homework and really think uh, the way I had to do. I had to think theologically while thinking spiritually and then put all of that out. I had to, you know, just to get that work done. That helped me okay. there. So I think that there's a couple of things. And I think what we can do is when we come back, we can go into more things that will help you do self-care. All right. We'll see you right after this. We're back for a second season of The Principal's Office. I'm your host, Michelle Penix, and I am grateful to be back to share some of the most important topics in education with you, our audience. So each week we invite you in to learn with us as we learn from community leaders as they talk about the education issues of the day, right here and how they affect our black children differently than everyone else. Join us each week right here or on demand at SSC Live TV. It's TV our way. Welcome back, everybody. This is Real Talk with Minister Jay Renee and Kayla V. And we are finishing up. Hey, listen, Kayla V was just getting into me about what do I do for my self care? Right, All right, right, you know, I'm plain and simple. This is the live wire right here. So, Kayla V, tell us, you know, give us some other instances of what you do, how you do self care, or other things, ideas we can do. Okay. okay. I want you to get your pen. <laughs> and paper, your notebook, all that good stuff, because I'm about to give you some game, okay? 
<laughs> Seriously, Give because, the game. Um, yeah, this is something that I didn't do well with, you know, and so I had to, like, make this a goal, like, self-care, prioritize self-care yeah. was one of my um, major goals, even this year. So, okay. there's a couple things I do, okay? Um, first off, I remember you talking about nature. That's one thing that um, I just want to say that I love nature as well. Okay. So, um, I mean, when I think about self-care, I think about um, applying ease, okay? Nice. Self-care, applying ease, okay? And to apply ease, honestly, that means to heal. That's healing. Oh, love it. Okay. Yes, it is. Come on. So, apply ease. And so, I um, I, I've done, you know, taking a walk, uh -huh. um, even just going outside for a brain break. Like, you know, I, I work from home. So, um, you know, if I'm, if I'm with the client and, you know, I just finish the client, rather, if I finish the client and I have time, even if it's five minutes, to make sure I take a brain break. And I can get real fancy by taking a brain break, but going outside to yes. get some fresh air. Oops. <laughs> I'm getting excited, y'all. I know I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get in trouble but no, I'm getting excited about this because it right. really that that's a game changer. So if you would like to try um, some new self-care strategies, game plans, okay? Number one, you want get, to get with some nature, go outside, yes. okay? Call it a brain break if you have five minutes. Right. Take five minutes. That's awesome. Okay. All right. All right. So that's how you can press the reset button. All right. And so, yeah, so nature, so I do nature, um, taking that brain break for five minutes, going outside. But other than that, honestly, creativity is my superpower. So um, I have to every single day do something creative. Wow. So in the beginning of the day, I'll have, I'll create one thing that I want to get accomplished. Okay. Um, one thing, because, I mean, you want to create a culture of success. Nice. So like, you know, every, every single day I set my intention to do one thing, I get that one thing done. I can get other things done too, but I get that one thing done. And okay. so in addition to brain break in nature, then I am setting at least one thing to get done that day. And then one fun, creative thing. Okay. Are you following me? Because I, I am following. Okay. Fun. <laughs> fun was the word I cued in on. Fun. Okay. I hope everybody heard that. Fun. Fun. Okay. <laughs> right. So yeah. So one thing I get one thing done, and then I have some what? Fun. No. But <laughs> I had to. I had to get in with that. Hey. But yes. But yeah. One fun, creative thing. So. That can be painting, that can be poetry. That's for me because these are just, it just sets the vibe for me. Um, gets me just, makes me feel alive, right? right. Ooh, it can it. be, um, you know what? I'm gonna have, like, on the way to Starbucks, that's a whole nother deal. But on the, <laughs> on the way to Starbucks, you know what? I'm gonna have a concert in the car. I see that music. Right. So, music, right. Music. Love so, it. how do you have, um, how can I have fun with music and singing to the top of my lungs in the car? I when mean, nobody else is around? Come on. Game. What? Change it. <laughs> <laughs> apply ease. Apply but ease. ease. <laughs> right. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Okay. I do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then dancing makes you feel alive. I love it. Again, have a concert. Get in the bathroom. Nobody's watching. <laughs> Close the door. Get, <laughs> get in the mirror. Yes. Okay. Do something yes. fun. Move it. Really, for dancing, it's moving. And then I'm going to yes. hit you with the exercise. Now, I'm working on this. <laughs> Go hit me, though. Hit me. Because you don't pass do exercise, exercise. So I got to do exercise. Yes, We're going to keep it real. We're going to keep say, it real. Now I am building, it's a lifestyle. So instead right. of going to the gym or even walking outside and making it like more of a performance thing, yes. like, oh, I'm gonna, and I did three miles. I, because that, the perfectionist in me that I, yeah. that I told to leave, likes to do that. But now I'm making it a lifestyle. So if I get there, it's success. So we, <laughs> so we get there, we're having fun. I'm enjoying, right. again, right. have fun, right? right? That's what you know. So I have dance, I have exercise as forms of movement, but then I get real, really fancy. And this is really like, this is really the top of the top for the self care. Fancy. What's the fancy? You gonna tell me the I'm fancy? To, I gotta tell you the fancy. Okay, 
The fancy thing is a worship and praise. You better say that. <laughs> you Because you know what? I don't just walk. I call it a worship walk. What you say? It is a worship walk. I started this in Alabama, and I, I can't let it go. I don't. It's not about how fast I walk. It's yes. not about, it's about, and sometimes it's about what is, sometimes I'm just really quiet. Because if the yes. Lord speaks, I want to hear him. Like it's a worship walk and my focus is just on that. Girl, come on with, when you say <laughs> worship and pray. See, see, hold on, bring it. That's a different level. Bring it, different bring it levels. right here, different Janine levels. Renee, different because, levels. ooh. Levels on levels. That, that does, that right. does a purging right there in and of itself. Yes, it does. So that's how I, I get the soft overload. Talk the about soft it's, overload. Like, it's, it. like, it's like it's like it's like it's because self care again to me it's a pie. So yeah. if I take it to praise and worship, it's different. Be, like I could have a concert in my bathroom in the car. Right. I could do that, right? right. But this is a specific type of <laughs> <laughs> type of experience that I create with the Holy Spirit. Okay. The vibrations vibe. That's the vibrations. <laughs> that's the vibrations. Vibe, vibe. I believe that. Right. And so <laughs> I'm like, that. it's on a whole different level. Right. 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 And right. then I'm just. So in other that, words, what might seem crazy to somebody else is your relief and let go. Because you're saying, no, no, no. This is something different. This is not just regularly. Yeah, this is something I am focusing. I am intentional about being wild about what I do. Right. Okay. Ooh. Uh, you hit it right, right there. You, right. You know what? Um, we're not saying that this is an option. <laughs> <laughs> this is mandatory, and it sounds crazy, but it is mandatory. <laughs> they gonna make me preach, and I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm gonna just do a little bit. Okay, can I do a little bit? You can do a little bit. All right. We got so six minutes. Six I got, minutes. I got six, min six minutes. Here I go in <laughs> one. Here I go in one. But you know what? I, here's here's the thing. People think when they say, oh, God uh, uh, created the earth in six days and he rested. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. But so we look at the rest like, oh, my goodness, he was so tired. But there comes a time in your life where you have to sit back and enjoy you have to take a look at what you've done. Right. Uh, <laughs> I got it done in one. But I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, you know, just think about this. You think God overexhausted himself? No. He, he created, then he rested, and enjoyed what he created. Mm. Game changer. Yeah. Uh, God has given us his life. And we can't run it seven seven days a week just doing, just doing, just going, just listen, even in the church. I love it because you know, we come to church and this is our day of rest, you know, but we work at church. And sometimes we forget to worship at church. Ooh. Did I did I do it? That, that was, okay, no, I'm still on one minute. I'm still on one minute. And and I say this because as the life of the church. Uh, we have to take time. We we have to. But how will we minister to a dying world, to a lost world, if we're exhausted and don't have the energy to do it? This is mandatory. You know, it doesn't matter what you do. If you're going to be uh, great parents, okay, look, I was by myself, but check this out. I learned this the hard way. And there was a lot of days I missed. Um, you know, thinking I gotta take care of my son, I gotta, I gotta do this for my son, I gotta provide, I gotta listen. Those days he and I used to go to the park and just chill, or he would play, but we would lift our little hatch back up. I had a little escort. Mm -hmm. We lift, you know, lift the hatch up, and then I put the blanket back there, and we would lay back there and we'd watch the squirrels. Oh, he thought that was like the coolest thing ever. I and so did I. But I didn't realize how relaxing that was. See, I didn't yes. know that was self-care. So we're telling you now, <laughs> hey, don't let's not mess this up. We don't need to be on the verge of a, a heart attack or a stroke. We don't need to have high blood pressure. Hey, listen, we don't, there's a lot of things that would just go away if we could learn how to do self-care. This sounds crazy, sounds like fun. And if it sounds like fun, oh my goodness, they must not know what they're talking about, but that's just the point. We do. And we're saying, come on, have some fun. Yes. Part yes. of self-care. Yep. Did I do that in time? You did. That was great. <laughs> that was great. I'm did clapping I get that? for you. <laughs> I'm 
what's happened for you. It's funny, my sister, she's, <laughs> I got that from my sister. She's, you know how sometimes you tell somebody something and you really just kind of, you want them to say, like, good job, or, you know, like, yeah, 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 you know how yeah. kids do it? Yeah. But adults, we, sometimes we have those moments too. So my sister, one day, she was telling me something and then I'm like, oh, you want me to clap for you? you did you, you, I just asked her, I wasn't being sarcastic. I'm like, you want me to clap for you? And then she's like, yeah, so now we have this thing where we're like, clap for me. So I'll tell you something, like, clap for me. And I'm like, oh, good job, <laughs> good job. I do that that's to my another, grand. But that's another form of self-care. That's oh my why, God. see how I spin you that? Better, you better spin that. <laughs> Coach Kayla in the house, everybody, okay? You better spin that. I love yes, it, I yeah. love it. But yeah, so those of you who do have your pen and your paper, there's a few things. If you wrote down worship and praise, Circle it. <laughs> okay? Mm. Worship. Bow down. Worship. Oh, my goodness. Okay? Worship. Break chains. <sighs> Try it. Break chains. If you did not write down worship and praise, write it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to bless your I, life I, out right here. We're trying to bless your life. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Yeah, you don't have to wait till you get to uh, church on Sunday. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and do that every day if you want. Yeah. And you know what? Like this. So I think maybe was it this year? It might have been this year where where something came to me. Um, Creative worship art. Because I I feel like millennials sometimes when you say worship or praise are like, uh, you know, because you think. Oh, I love it. That is just in church. Go ahead. But worship is really just that for me the admiration and just even being intentional what about what you're doing. I mean, I could be worshiping God and drinking some water. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? It's kind of just being intentional with my mind, where my focus is going, because where your focus goes, it grows. So if I'm intentional while I'm doing the dishes, let me tell you, because I... <laughs> if I'm intentional about gratitude and, and being grateful, that's my a part of my praise. I'm, you know what? Thank you, God, for this dish, because I know I ain't want to wash it, but I'm so thankful that I have a clean dish that I can be food. I got... You gave me food. Hallelujah. I can put food on my dish. I can put food on this dish. And now I have the honor of having soap to wash it. Oh, my Look goodness. Look at there. So creative worship arts. But um, self-care, we have to prioritize our self-care, especially um, for generous leaders in the school system, in our households, um, and, yeah, in the church. In the church. Uh, uh, you know, we were discussing this topic. And, you know, and so I don't know when you'll watch this or when you'll see this, but there are some times that we, we talk, uh, the holidays is probably one of the biggest times that we forget about self-care because we're so worried about pleasing our children, making sure the bills are paid, doing Absolutely. all of this extra stuff, having all these extra hours. We're doing so much. So it doesn't matter what time of the year. It's just always be mindful when you're sliding out of self-care and try to find creative ways. If you gotta work seven days a week, well, on your break, go to your car and get you some self-care if you right. can. Right, five minutes. It could just be in, being intentional about it, I think, is it. really important, yeah. So hey, listen, this is Minister J. Renee and- Kayla V. And we are coming at you about self-care and we want you to take care. God bless you. See you next time.